Hi Taurus, welcome to this reading. I hope you're well. Three of Wands. Okay, Ten of Swords, we have the Moon, Pisces, and we have the Two of Coins reversed. Hmm. Okay, so the Divine Feminine could be anticipating some sort of a painful ending in the future. It's almost like walking through the fire to get to the ultimate goal. Two of coins reversed is making a choice on something. To me, I always think of it as dropping one of the coins. So we're left with the ace of coins, a new opportunity. But to get there, it's not necessarily, not, not necessarily, excuse me, the smoothest path ahead. Whether the Divine Feminine is thinking this about themselves or about the path that the Divine Masculine has to walk on to get to this new new future, new opportunity. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Ten of Wands as well. So the Divine Feminine feels that they've been waiting some time for this to happen. We have the Nine of Pentacles and we have the World. Yeah. Okay, so the Divine Feminine here is thinking about new beginnings, but feeling like they've been waiting for this past phase cycle that they're in with their Divine Masculine to close for a good while. We could even be talking years here with the Seven of Coins. Um, let me clarify this Nine of Pentacles. It could be that they're looking at the um, Divine Masculine or even at themselves saying, for us to have this new beginning, this opportunity together, we've got to become single or we've got to become independent in whichever sense. We've got to build ourselves up to be ready for this. But there is some unknown around this. So let me see. Chariot, Cancer, Seven of Wands, Four of Cups. Do you know what? This feels a lot to me like it's the div Divine Feminine looking at the Divine Masculine. And the reason I say this is there's such a feeling of passivity from the Divine Feminine. And I wouldn't expect this level of it, given the level of frustration, if there was something that the Divine Feminine felt they could do about this. So it's almost like I have to be passive, even though I'm longing for change here and have been for a good while, because it's not my situation. I can't change it. So I have to sit by and watch and wait and manifest there's very little i can do um i can't go in to my divine masculine situation in the 3d and end or wrap up whatever this cycle is that they're in i have to be passive to a certain degree and that's very frustrating and i think the divine feminine is looking at the divine masculine and thinking are you going to make this change and if so when we both agree whether you know it's been spoken about or both people here just know intuitively we both agree that we are destined for something here we're both walking along parallel paths we're trying to get to the same place um but at the same time that, you know, there's a lot of resistance coming from the Divine Masculine in, you know, from the Divine Feminine's perspective. And that means that there's just this opportunity that's sitting here between them, Four of Cups, that's not being acted upon. Um, okay, let's go back to this Three of Wands. Yes, doing lots of imagining, Page of Swords reversed. When it's reversed for me, it's not something that's grounded. Imagining, and then we have Two of Wands reversed. If both could take this leap of faith. So I do wonder if the Divine Feminine right now is consciously manifesting, trying to do sort of visualization, scripting, trying to bring this possible um, opportunity in future into fruition. Or, as I said, it could be that the, the Divine Feminine feels like there's nothing I can do about this. So all I can do is imagine and hope and wish for this. It could be a blend of both, but there does feel like there's some frustration here. Um, maybe it's even crossed into a bit of apathy, a little bit of hopelessness from the Divine Feminine, feeling like it's been such a long time. And my Divine Masculine is showing or saying that they want this too, but there is such resistance from them to make this change. It could be that the Divine Masculine is too afraid to let go of certain things in the 3D um, but let's see, let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine at this time. Look at that, they know, Four of Cups. So the Divine Feminine is not incorrect in thinking that both people see the connection, feel it, and are aware of the opportunity that it's presenting to them. So I do think that the Divine Feminine here is definitely reading the Divine Masculine right and well at this time. So let's see. 
what's going on with the divine masculine here for Taurus I can tell by the time I finish this set of zodiacs at some point I'm gonna have mixed up divine masculine divine feminine um, but you know I'll try not to so what is going on with the divine masculine please in this connection at this time age of swords reversed I'm sure I just had that card out in that exact position reversed for the divine masculine for Aries as well so I don't know if someone's dealing with an Aries here um, we have the two of swords wow queen of swords reversed yep and the four of wands reversed page of pentacles high priestess reversed the divine masculine is trying not to hear their intuition because their intuition is telling them exactly what the divine feminine knows there is a need to make a decision about a pre-existing grounded foundation with someone who is maybe kind of cold a bit bitter a bit resentful um and the divine masculine is saying i don't want to hear this because i don't want to make the decision because it will mean changing my life around completely and that's an overwhelming thought we have the hermit virgo um and then we have the king of pentacles just as a side note this isn't going to be for everyone but for some of you um there is someone outside of this connection so not your divine masculine there is someone else who could be researching looking into investigating um the divine feminine so someone on the divine masculine side looking i don't know i just get the feeling someone connected to the divine masculine might be aware or they're on the lookout for something suspicious or for someone else with this hermit card here I, and the reason I say that is because it's paired with this Queen of Swords reverse. This is not someone going within. This is not someone minding their own business. This is someone who's kind of in a crappy mood to begin with. So now they're going out there and they're looking for reasons to be angry, to be cross with this Divine Masculine. And if they have suspicions that there is someone else or something's going on, just know they're actively trying to find evidence to support this. So, you know, just so you know. Okay, King of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Reverse. This Divine Masculine is trying to uphold some kind of responsibility to a foundation that it looks like has already broken or is um, crumbling. And this is the very thing that they would have to cut away in order to take that cup that both of you know is between you in that Four of Cups um, card. Let's see, why is the Divine Masculine so stressed about this, given that they don't they don't seem to you know be getting on with whoever this other person is and they don't seem to feel that this foundation is worthwhile investing into or they can see it's already breaking down in some way so what's the stress what's the drama they could the knight of swords was trying to come out they could be um conflict avoidant to an extreme degree we have the nine of pentacles reversed for some of them they could be saying it's something practical i would lose a lot of money or my home ten of swords reversed this could be tapping into a childhood wound we do have this page of pentacles um wheel of fortune reverse sagittarius i'm wondering let's say this divine masculine in childhood came from a home where there was very little money and this divine masculine said to themselves never again will i live like this i will i don't ever want to be in a situation where i'm wondering when i'll next eat or if we will have to move out because we have to get rid of the home or something or you know i never want my children to feel this so the thought of leaving whatever this foundation is they're not they're overwhelmed they're not looking at it from a practical realistic perspective it's because it's triggering that deep wound um or that that thing that's been driving them their whole life to maybe work so hard to to be so consistent to become this king of pentacles and they're feeling like if i step away from this i'm going to end up where i was when i was a child and they won't but it's this sort of subconscious fear that's driven them their whole life and it's being triggered by the possibility of having to step away from the thing they have made and invested so much in to keep themselves safe and away from whatever they don't want to repeat from the past from earlier years if you see what i mean so i think that's what all of this fear no no i'm not looking i'm covering my eyes my fingers are in my ears i don't want to hear i'm not acknowledging 
And if that feels like an overreaction to the situation, it is, but it's because they are being triggered. So, I mean, this is classic twin flame. This, this connection here, we've got the lovers on the back, twin flame, Gemini also, is triggering the divine masculine to look at their relationship with whatever this is. It seems most likely to me to be something around money um, and the stability and safety and security that can bring or something around being part of a community. So this could be someone who left home at a young age or felt like the odd one out in their family or um, lost a family member very young or something like that and, and never wanted to feel that way again. So they're sort of clinging on even to people that are actually not bringing them safety or a feeling of community anymore. So yes, this divine masculine is currently in a place of potentially being triggered and having to reflect and heal and move forward from this. So this is actually very, this is, you know, this is what we expect. It's not easy, it's not fun, it's very deep, but it's definitely something that happens in these twin flame connections. Um, so the divine masculine, you know, we know the divine feminine is reading the situation very well right now and seeing that the divine masculine is the one in the 3d that is holding things up with the will of fortune reversed we're getting that confirmation but think of it like um i don't know think of the divine masculine and feminine as running along side by side if one of them gets tired the other supports and slows down they you know catch their breath they run forward again then the other one gets tired the other one slows down and supports so right now i think what's being asked of the divine feminine is to be the support for the divine masculine in my running metaphor. You know, what that looks like in reality is just kind of accepting, okay, the divine masculine is being triggered. They need some time, they need some space, fair enough. You know, um, now, you, you know, you will all have different situations. So if you're saying they've needed this time, they've been in this space for 27 years or something like that, I mean, that might be a bit different. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on with the Divine Masculine. So let's see what to expect in the next couple of weeks or so. Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Yeah, lots of self-reflection. I think that's particularly on the Divine Masculine side at this time. And we have don't let pride get in your way full moon in leo okay so this could be pride and the ego you know the divine masculine has to overcome the boundaries that the ego has set and the ego tells us don't do that thing that's crazy you know and you won't be safe if you do it you will die you'll be kicked out of the community you will have no money you know the divine masculine has got to get over that i feel like for the divine feminine the ego is saying my divine masculine doesn't care because they're not taking action and if they cared they would say something to me and if they cared this would have moved forward more quickly by now so that's something the divine feminine is having to deal with at this time you know um i guess not taking it personally not taking the movement or lack of movement from the divine masculine personally the ego doesn't like that you know the ego doesn't want to hear that the ego wants to be acknowledged now okay so guidance and advice for you, Taurus. You know, Taurus, this feels like um, this this connection right now is going through one of those, you know, it's in a heavy place. Um, and both, both parties are being tested here, I think, um, and pushed, their boundaries are being pushed. last quarter moon in gemini clear your mind okay so this could be for both you know this can work for both divine masculine and divine divine feminine so um meditation doing things that are peaceful grounding journaling um taking time to breathe in and breathe out and just to recenter i mean that's really just good life advice i think so i will leave this here taurus but i hope this resonates i hope this helps and i will see you soon bye